now one day away from opening in South Tulsa. For months, it's been a hot topic online as animal activists argue that they disagree with Petland's treatment of animals. And today, they're making sure their voices are heard. Thanks for joining us tonight at 5. I'm Neely Jones. And I'm Mark Bradshaw. News Channel 8's Lily Cummings live tonight near 71st and Garnett, where Petland will open tomorrow morning. And she spoke with some folks who aren't happy about being here in Oklahoma. Lily. Neely and Mark, today many animal rights groups in town spoke out about this store and say they'll be right here tomorrow, raising awareness as Petland opens its doors. When it comes to puppy mills, Oklahoma is ranked number four in the United States for the prevalence of puppy mills. Oklahoma Alliance for Animals has seen it all. They simply exist to produce puppies and to make profits. And so puppy mill breeders are notorious for selling their mass produced puppies on the internet in classified ads and through pet stores. Now the Alliance, Tulsa SPCA, and the Humane Society are speaking out about this pet store opening in Tulsa. So to think that a store is going to open up that's going to sell these dogs for profit and just help that practice continue, it just, I mean, it's, it's awful to think about. The animal groups say they just rescued 84 dogs from a Sequoia County home of a licensed breeder. The problem with a licensed breeder is licensed and reputable and responsible are not interchangeable words. They want to see people adopt, not shop, and they plan to protest to make people aware of their options. But Petland said they believe families have the right to choose where they find their pet. The Tulsa store owner Carl Swanson sent us a statement reading in part, we are aware of the protest and certainly respect their rights to voice concern. Unfortunately, there is a lot of misinformation and inaccuracies in their claims. We are very excited to join the Tulsa community and will take great care in becoming responsible stewards. The animal group said they understand some people still may want to buy a pet. Any reputable breeder is going to be happy for you to come into their home and see where the animals live, see the parents. They just hope they're being treated like any member of the family would. The dogs are usually kept in smaller, <laughs> confined areas and they don't usually get out of them. Um, they sit in their own filth. Petland is also opening a location in Oklahoma City soon. In that statement, Petland says its animals come from USDA licensed breeders, local shelters, and hobby breeders. Live in South Tulsa, Lily Cummings, News Channel 8.